Hello everyone, we all love custom expressions in Spotfire. At the end of the day, they elevate our data aggregations and give us flexibility we need to work with any data. There are also so many keywords that we can use in our custom expressions. Today, I want to shed some light on one of the most essential ones, over. We use over statements in custom expressions when we want to include data from outside of the current slice in the evaluation of an expression. Let's have a look at this illustration. The big box symbolizes all rows in a data table containing yearly sales in different regions for some fruit types and the cubes symbolize different slices of the data. Assume that you want to compare sales of oranges North 2018 to sales of lemons West 2018 or to sales of oranges West 2015-2017. In such expression, you need to reference data slices outside sales of oranges North 2018 which is done by using the overstatement. The overstatement lets you open up new ways of grouping data to be referenced in the expressions. The overstatement makes it possible to redirect the way expressions or visualizations normally group data when time periods are to be compared or combined with each other. Custom expressions work on each of the already defined slices in the visualization. This is the fundamental difference between known navigation methods in custom expressions and in calculated columns. When used in custom expressions, these methods are telling the visualizations to ignore specific slices that are built into the visualization. Now let's have a look at a simple example. I have here some project data with information about expenditure and budget for each year. I would like to calculate the difference in expenditure from the previous month into a bar chart. I can start by importing my bar chart and set my x-axis as year, quarter, month. One thing to consider when you use the over statement in an expression to reference other slices is that you do not refer to the actual column used for slicing the data on an axis. Instead, you refer to the axis itself, like axis.x or axis.color. So I'll go to my y-axis and in edit expression, I'll start typing sum of expenditure minus sum of expenditure over previous axis dot x. Now, previous function is a so-called over function. The over functions are used to determine how data should be sliced, for example, relative to time periods. Previous uses the previous node on the same level as the current node to compare the result of the current node with the previous one. If there is no previous node, that is, if the current node is the first node for the current level, the resulting subset will not contain any rows. I will just copy this expression for now and press enter. And as you can see, right now my bar chart represents the difference of expenditure for each month. Now we can make it a bit more visually pleasing. Let's go to visualization properties, select colors, and in the columns drop down, I will paste the same expression that I used for my Y axis. In color mode, I'll select segments and I will add a point at zero and I will change the colors. I will also go to labels and show the labels for complete bar. Now you can see from this visualization that for October 2011, the expenditure was $2,411 more than for September. And this is how you use the keyword over in custom expressions. Stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to show you how to use over in calculated columns. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.